everyone, it's Adele Dicasso here. What I want to talk to you today about is being the best version of you that you can be. So um, what I've discovered is when I am uh, doing the things that I love to do, like, um, you know, just the things that I'm passionate about, or if I'm with um, people that I care about and like being with, then I find that I am my most natural self. Um, and you can probably relate to this. Um, you know, there are certain things that we do where we forget that we're shy. The shyness just completely disappears. So that is obviously a very happy state of mind um, for us. So if we can get into that happy state as much as possible, um, then, you know, I just feel it's, it will lead us to uh, live a much happier and successful life. So for many, many years, I wasn't in this state much of the time um, because I wasn't happy with who I was. I used to think that I was too quiet, um, you know, shy wasn't, shyness wasn't a good thing. Um, and all my friends around me seemed to be outgoing, extrovert and, you know, and just like the life and soul of the party. And I wanted to be like that, not like <laughs> you know, who I was. Um, so it took me a while to actually accept that, yeah, it was okay to be quiet. Um, everybody was different and I didn't you know, have to be like that. And I actually stopped you know, comparing myself to those other people eventually. Um, but I realized that you know, when you're actually true to yourself and you are you know, accepting of yourself, then you are your best version. You really are. So, um, you know, I set out to, you know, make sure that I was that person um, as much of the time as I possibly could. And what I sort of came to believe was that I had to accept who I was, but then, um, you know, just say to myself that I'm going to strive to become the best possible version of that, of me. Um, and that's what I now love to, you know, share with other people. So... Um, the things that you can do to enable you to become that best version of yourself are very, very simple. One was that I decided to, you know, just go all in on personal development and make sure that I was working on that every single day. Um, and that just means reading something that really fires you up or listening to something that really fires you up because your whole life turns around once, you, you know, if you've got something, if you've got a new book or something that you're really excited about, um, and you just be passionate about learning, it changes everything. Um, it makes everything 10 times better. So there's that. Um, I also set out to you know, make sure that I was practicing gratitude every day and thinking of, you know, at least three to five things um, that I was actually thankful for. And that, again, changes everything. Um, so these things are very, very simple. The other one is to just make sure that you're present in the moment as much as you possibly can as well because when we're present, we're bringing our best selves to that situation. So, you know, it's a never ending, um, you know, learning curve. Um, you know, I'm always learning and I feel like, you know, if we're not learning, then we're not, um, you know, becoming the best possible version of ourselves. Even if you just, you know, become 1% better every single day, then that's gonna add up over time. So I hope this has helped. Um, feel like I've waffled a little bit today but I just wanted to rather than have notes to read from I just wanted to say you know how it how it actually is for me and how I feel about it all so I hope that's helped and I'll see you all next week bye <laughs>